Thank you very much. And as I was saying, I wish my, my kids could be here to see this today so they can see what their dad is doing, but also to, to see what you all are doing here. Uh, and I'm so humbled to be a part of this group. I walked up the Capitol steps a few minutes ago, and I saw three words engraved uh, on a post down there. It said, truth for authority. And uh, that's what you guys are representing today. That's what you are here doing. You are bringing truth for uh, the authority in this building, and you speak truth to authority. So thank you all, and thank you for welcoming me in, into this group and to be a part of what you're trying to do. I have been on a, 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 an absolute magnificent journey, a uh, magnificent adventure since I testified before the Senate Committee, uh, the Senate Commerce Committee on June the 24th. That was the day that I'll never forget. Testifying before that committee was, without a doubt, uh, the scariest thing I've ever done, the hardest thing I've ever done, but in retrospect, absolutely the, most, the best and most important thing I have ever done. I had no idea what would happen to me. Uh, as a result of that, I was always thinking of the worst, but it's been an absolute wonderful experience for me that it's taken me from coast to coast. Yesterday, I was in Appleton, Wisconsin, and uh, I was driven by uh, a volunteer who drove me last night from Appleton, three hours down to Chicago, so I could spend the night there to catch an early flight down here. It just gives you an idea of the dedication of people who are so supportive of real health care reform. I wasn't going to miss this at all. I, I, I got about three hours of sleep last night so I could be here because Chuck is right. Before I decided to do this, I was seeking out people who I knew were doing the right thing, and I wanted to get inspiration from them. And Chuck and Walter Sue are two of the people that I wanted to talk to and wanted to find out what drove them, what made you do what you're, what makes you do what you're doing. Uh, and they and you are truly inspiring and have been inspirations to me to do what I've been able to do. I've been asked often, why did you, what was it, what really <laughs> made you decide to do this? And it was, it was a difficult decision, but it was both gradual and sudden. I, the, the, the higher up the corporate ladder I climbed, the more I could see, the more I understood how insurance companies dump the sick, how they confuse their customers, and they do that so that they can increase their profits, all for the benefit of the people who own them, and not the people, but the organizations, the institutions, the, uh, the, the Wall Street masters that control these companies. Uh, in the last 15 years, our health insurance system has changed radically, and we need to take action to reverse what has happened to our health care system. 15 years ago, it was bad. Today, it is, it is far, far worse. And I have been a part of what has happened to our health care system, and I frankly would like to apologize to all of you for the role that I played in cheating you out of health care reform in years past. Uh, I played a role in helping to set up front groups. I played a role in helping to write talking points, some of that you're hearing right today. You hear uh, politicians, you hear conservative pundits say that what is being proposed in Washington is a, is a government takeover of the health care system. That, that is an expression that I used to write, and I'm ashamed of that, but I recognized it. Uh, I uh, uh, also came to my senses, finally, as I was uh, understanding exactly what insurance companies want all of us to do. They want to move all of us into plans that shift more and more of the financial responsibility to us. They call them consumer-driven plans, but what they are is cost-shifting. I happen to know that the average household income in this country is $50,000. The price of a, 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 a decent health insurance plan for a family of four is $13,500 now. We cannot continue to do that. And the way that the insurance companies want to control health care costs, their silver bullet, is to make us pay even more. They are making us pay more out of our own pockets before they'll pay a dime. And they're pushing more of us into limited benefit plans, often that are so limited that they don't even cover hospitalization. So we are paying, in many, in, in many instances, premiums for fake or junk insurance. And that is what will continue unless we are successful in, in, in defeating them this time and in the future.